Look Look everywhere. Look at them. Look at me. Look at him. Yeah. Now relax. Now breathe. (laughs) I asked you this about. First interview. Camera's rolling, so maybe you should say something. Oh, great. Now let's talk about Aspen. Let's hear it. Hi, I'm Piper. I'm Aislinn. I'm Sawyer. And we're from the Santa Barbara Middle School Teen Press. And today we're here with Paul Wellman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you again. We go way back. Um. In your Santa Barbara questionnaire interview with Roger Durling, you said you raced through high school to get a low-paying job at a gas station. <laughs> How did you make your initial connection to the independent? To the independent. Well, uh, in the 90s, I managed a music store called Morning Glory. Uh, music, it was uh, CDs and tapes, uh, and I had a connection with the independent because we advertised with them. And so I knew a lot of people. I knew uh, the uh, people that designed our ads, my sales rep, and so on. So. Um, I got tired of doing retail, and the independent had an opening, and I took it, and they knew me, and I knew them, and it was a good little fit, and, and it turned out I was handy with a camera, so um, my graphic design job, which is where I started, turned into a photography position. You've claimed to have a collection of flip phones, but how about cameras? Which ones are most important to you? You know, uh, I actually, the, the flip phones was, was, uh, was an ironic statement. I don't have a, really a collection of flip phones. But I do have the collection of cameras is where I started. I used to think cameras looked really cool. There's a couple here on the shelf. I probably have about 100 um, that I used to collect. And I, I just thought they looked cool. And then one day I got one that actually worked. And I started <laughs> using it. And, uh, and that's when I started taking photographs. Uh, so... In a September story about Cameron Benstein and padding, there were photos apparently in the water as well as on shore. How many and what types do you use on a regular basis? How many, how many cameras? Yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, what was the assignment? I don't remember. The, the um, Cameron, with Cameron ben, Benson, Benson and family, it was like... Oh, the, the friendship paddle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, so on my, just on my day-to-day, what do I use for cameras? Yeah. Okay, so I normally walk around with two camera bodies, and they have, if you want, they're right here, actually. Thank this you. is, this is uh, they're both essentially the, the same. They're both high-resolution cameras, um, and all the bodies now are great. They're like, even the cheapest camera body is great. Um, and I have a lot of different lenses. They come off, and I can s- switch them. I normally carry two because this one is has a wide zoom so in this room here I can fit a lot of you in one shot and zoom in a little bit and then this one's more telephoto and that way if you're doing something cool I can take your picture and all of a sudden I look and there's Keith over there went down the hallway and I don't have to change my lens so having two cameras helps with that oh and then uh, water housings or I don't have a water housing you know on with with that one I was uh, I was nervous on the boat with a, I brought, I actually brought the, I, I, I brought two cameras and I think a GoPro. Um, uh, with that, no flash kits. I usually, I usually bring a flash with me, uh, some kind of a strobe kit. Uh, but um, that was uh, kind of pared down. So yeah. Um. Once you've taken some photos for an assignment, what happens next? What's the process before one gets published in the paper? Um, that's that's good. It's a whole other thing nowadays. With it, with it being digital, um, there's there's two things. It's a lot easier because it used to be go into the dark room and develop the film and then make a print from that, uh, which is very time consuming. But with digital, you just put it on the computer, as you all know from your iPhones or so on. But then you have to pare it down. And since it's easy to take a lot of photographs, I'll go to an assignment and I'll just keep shooting, and it may be redundant. But it, maybe the shot gets a little better and better as you look around and you realize other things you want to put in there. So I may have 300 photographs when I'm only going to need a couple. Um, so I bring it up on the computer. I look at anything that looks remotely usable. I save that. Uh, I, you know, mark those as, as decent and then pare it down from there. And usually about two or three go-arounds, I get it down to the ones I like. And then, uh, and then I'll do a little edit where I'll straighten the horizon adjust the color balance or the, or the light levels because I'm usually not perfect uh, on, on any of those. Um, uh, and, then, uh, and then send it off to the designers. I'll put it on the, on the server. Yeah, my Christmas cards, uh, when my mom does it, the like, person takes like a thousand pictures and then only uses like five. Yeah. So. <laughs> 
In 2017, you told Roger Derling that you had 12 terabytes of photos from your time shooting in the Independent. What's the count now? And please share a highlight or two from the people and events captured there. Okay. So first off, I don't know what the number is now. Uh, behind me today, I actually I've got a I've got my usual computer down in here, which has five hard drives in it, and they pull out old ones and put in new ones for more capacity. Sitting on top of it, this is an external hard drive. This holds 20 terabytes, and I think it has room for four more. I think I'm maybe around the 16 terabytes today. Oh. And then what was the, that was a two part. How many, how much, what's my? What's the count now, and please share a highlight or two from all of the people and events captured there. That one's that one's really hard. It's funny. I'll do uh, I'll do anywhere from two to six or seven assignments a day, and they go out of my head pretty quick. I'm doing a recap of the year in pictures right now, and I've I'm seeing assignments that I had totally forgotten I've done. So, <laughs> and there's there's a lot. So sometimes it's a not an exciting subject, but the person was really cool, and sometimes it's a really big deal, uh, and but the shot wasn't that great. So. It's the variety that I really like in it. I know that's not really a answering your question, but um, it's it's the there's so many different scenarios and so many different people. They all kind of make different connections, and and that's the most interesting part of the job for me. What advice would you give to someone my age who's interested in photography, either as a, a hobby or a career? Mm. Uh, get a lottery ticket that wins. <laughs> If you stay, if you, if you yeah, there's an old expression, if you want to make a small fortune in photography, you need to start with a large fortune. Um, the, if, you, if you're if you serious about uh, photography, then just take pictures. It doesn't matter what, what gear you have. If you have an iPhone, they do, they do an amazing job. They don't do everything. They don't have great telephoto, but just take pictures uh, is, the, is the main thing. And as you get gear, uh, know how to use it. And, and you'll do that by using it so it's just if you're it's like anything if you're interested in doing it you'll do it and you'll get better at it and then the other part is you know if like again like with anything if you're thoughtful about it if you if you know okay well, I'm gonna be there it's gonna be nighttime I'm gonna be cold I may be there for hours bring a chair bring extra batteries bring a jacket uh, something to eat the being prepared part really comes into play um, you can plan and things will, will change down the road. You never know what will actually happen. But if you plan for it, you're going to be, if you're comfortable and relaxed, and then when the shot comes up and you're waiting for, you know, a gopher to stick its head out of a hole or something like that, then you're, you're ready for it. But if you're bored and you're like, oh, this is dumb, and then the plane goes overhead and you're like, oh, I missed the shot. So a um, little bit of planning and a little bit of patience. Thanks for talking with us. Sure, absolutely. So you want to ask to? One more question. We ask the homework question. Oh. Um, um, if there was, if there was one homework assignment you could give us, what would it be, and mm. why? I, 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 you mean depending on just on any, you mean a photography homework, homework assignment? Um. Or just like yeah, you know, study yeah, Latin. Anything. Uh, yeah, any any study, homework study assignment. Study Latin. It's because it's it, it's it, there's so many other languages involved with it, and you'll you know, that way when you travel the world, you'll you'll know more languages. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> you're serious. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I I don't know. I I hated homework as a kid. I'm not going to assign you guys homework. That's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Go buy a comic and read it. Yeah. <laughs>